Hello, Beaker. What are you doing today? Oh, Beaker the Bird is busy, very busy. Yes, it's Beaker the Bird's big day. Big day? Well, Christmas was a couple days ago. That's a really big day. What special day is it today? Oh, it's Beaker's day to sell off all these Christmas boxes. Why? Oh, because Beaker heard it was Boxing Day sales, and Beaker has lots of boxes. Beaker has a Christmas box. Oh, I see. And a chocolate box. Yes. And some pretty boxes and some big boxes. I see that. Well, I don't think anyone's going to buy your boxes. Oh, Beaker heard it on the radio. Boxing Day sales. Beaker wants to sell all his boxes and buy a new birdhouse. Oh, Beaker, I don't think that's going to work. Oh, Beaker wants to know why. Well, because Boxing Day, Day, which was yesterday, that's not really what it's all about. It's not about selling boxes. It's a time when, uh, in history when rich landowners would actually allow their servants who worked for them all day on Christmas, they would allow them to have the next day off and they could go and celebrate with their family and friends and they would give them boxes with gifts and food, leftover food, so they could go and celebrate with their family. And it kind of became a custom, something they did every year. And it became known as Boxing Day. So the baker's not going to be able to sell boxes? I don't think anyone's going to buy your boxes. But you know, Beaker, I did bring a box with me today. Oh, you did? Beaker loves boxes. Yeah, I can tell that. Well, I bought a pretty box right here. Well, what's in that box? Well, this box reminds us of God's gift. I didn't know God gives gifts. Well, actually, God was the very first one to give a gift that very first Christmas. Oh yeah, Speaker remembers God gave us baby Jesus. That's right, in fact, Galatians 4.4 4 tells us when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law to redeem those who are under the law. So a little over 2,000 years ago, Jesus, God's son, who was living with him in eternity, he left heaven to step down into our world as a human baby, God in the flesh, and to live among us. In fact, it tells us that he was born under the law. No, Peter the bird doesn't know what the law is. You mean like breaking the law, stop sign? Yeah. Running through a stop sign. Well, that could be breaking the law, yes, but God's commandments that he has given us. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not lie, thou shalt not bear false witness. All those are God's laws. And you know that man was given those laws by God. And we are not to break God's laws, but we have. We all sin. We all break God's laws. But Jesus, when he lived here on this earth, he was absolutely perfect. He was sinless. He never broke any of God's laws. And because he was able to live here on earth and not break any of God's laws, he was the perfect son of God. He was able, as the rest of the verse says, to redeem those of us, or the rest of us who are under the law. To redeem means to pay the price or the payment for our sin, for the wrong things we do. No, Beaker doesn't know what the price for sin is. Oh, well, that's found in another verse in the Bible. In Romans 6.23, it says, For the wages of sin is death. In other words, the payment of our sins, what we deserve for the wrong we do, is to die, to be separated from God forever. But the gift of God is eternal life. That means to live forever in heaven with God. And how do we get that? It's through Jesus Christ, our Lord. In other words, Jesus came down to this earth as a baby. He lived a perfect life. And his purpose in coming was to pay the price for our sin. He died so that we might be forgiven. And he rose from the grave triumphant over death. 
He's alive forevermore. And because of what he's done for us, we can have eternal life through Jesus. Oh, Beaker thinks that's a wonderful gift. It is a wonderful gift. But sad to say, Beaker, there's a lot of people out there that leave that gift under the tree. You know, we all have sinned. We all deserve to be separated from God forever. But Jesus, because of God's great love for us, he came down to this earth. He took the punishment for our sin so that we don't have to pay it. He paid the price. And then he rose from the dead. He's alive forevermore. And all we have to do is accept that gift. We have to realize that we deserve to be punished. But Jesus took our punishment. He has given us the gift of eternal life if we only believe. Well, boys and girls, I hope that you have taken God's gift. I hope you've accepted God's gift. I hope it's not still laying under the tree. I hope you have a happy new year, boys and girls. Happy New Year, boys and girls. Beaker wants everybody to have a happy New Year's and enjoy your boxes. 